good morning students welcome to this video so today we will discuss about the common human disease you know so the previous class we will discuss about you know the what is the pathogen and communicable and non communicable diseases you know so just you remember one second the pathogen means what what is pathogen the pathogen means nothing but the some diseases causes through the micro or micro organism that is called the pathogen okay so in this topic okay today you will learn about some common human disease affected to the micro or micro organism you know so the first one the human disease and that this is causes which kinds of micro organism and third one how can the disease can spread and preventive measure and how can prevent the disease the first disease is it, it is all the human disease the first one tuberculosis the first one what the tuberculosis it's one kind of disease so this disease causes through the bacteria so this disease causes through the bacteria and this disease how can transmit or how can spread through the air okay so the tuberculosis disease uh, how can transmit through the air and how can prevent the tuberculosis how can prevent the patient is complete isolate okay the patient is complete isolate me but uh, suppose the anyone person they are affected the tuberculosis me what we we'll do first you keep the patient is isolate isolate me separate from others that is called the isolate the patient is complete isolate and second one vaccination should be given at the suitable age you know the vaccination the vaccination given the suitable age okay and next one this is the measles so this kind of disease can cause through that virus you know like that how many you know in our body they are living in the dot next structure you know so that is the measles disease so this disease causes through that virus and more of transmitted air and the same the preventive measure the patient is completely isolated and vaccination should be given at proper age group and the next one the chicken box so this kind of which is also it causes you the virus disease and the more of transmission through air and the preventive measure the same patient is completely isolated and given that vaccination in the suitable age and third one polio so this disease it causes you of virus and air transmission how can prevent the same only you know the polio because the nowadays the polio is completely eradicated through the world you know because the government you know the government they will announce the earlier the twice or three the government given that some vaccination for all the child okay so nowadays the polio is completely eradicated and the next one this is the cholera and typhoid cholera and typhoid so these four kind of diseases it can causes microorganism bacteria what are the diseases causes to the bacteria like cholera and typhoid and the mode of transmission so this is the cholera and typhoid the maximum uh, it can the transmitted to the water you know whenever people we are drink that the impure water okay so that's why we will suffer that cholera and typhoid and the preventive measure the maintain the personal hygiene and good sanitary habits and cooked food and boiled drinking water so what you do so first you first you know that food is very important to maintain the personal hygiene and the good sanitary habits and cooked food and drink the boiled water because the the this disease can spread through the water only so that's why the we will drink the water the boiled water 
Don't worry, water you should not drink. And next to that, the hepatitis A. Hepatitis A. So this is one kind of virus species. So this one also it can spread through the water. So what to do? Drink boiled drinking water in vaccination and given the proper vaccination. Drink boiled drinking water and given the proper vaccination. And last one, you know that in the this type of disease, the malaria disease, you know. So this is one kind of the protozoa disease. The malaria is a one kind of the protozoa disease. So this disease can transmit to the mosquito, you know, during the rainy season, you know. So during the rainy season, the many mosquitoes starting the breeding. The breeding means what? That in the sex over. So that's why what will happen? The number of mosquitoes will be increased. So that's why they can easily to spread the malaria from person to person. You know, how can prevent that malaria? So use mosquito net and spray the insects. So how will you prevent that malaria disease? Better we can use the mosquitoes. The better we can use the mosquito net. You know. So and next find the spray the insects and spray the insect net. And you should and you keep control that mosquito breeding in our surrounding. So this is all the one, the common human disease. So this is all the one, the common human disease. Okay. Microorganism only causes the all the disease. You know. So some microorganism, common disease, it can causes that affected human their mode of transmission and your general matter. Okay. So all the disease it can spread to only in the microbes or microorganism. Okay, ba. So this is causing microorganism in animal itself, animals. So the disease it can cause us not only the human being, but not only the human being, the animals itself, the animals itself. Okay, wow. The several microorganisms it can cause us disease that not only human, even in that animal itself, even in that animal itself, okay, even in that animal itself. So the first you know that. Robert Koch in year of the 1876 to the common disease in animals, common disease, common disease in animals. So first to the Robert Koch, the Robert Koch in year of the 1876 to the Robert Koch in year of 1876, he discovered that bacteria. He discovered that bacteria. He discovered that bacteria. What kind of bacteria? The Bacillus anthracis. The Bacillus anthracis. The Bacillus anthracis. So this is one kind of that bacterial disease. Okay, ma? Who discovered that bacteria? Like the Bacillus anthracis. The Robert Koch. The Robert Koch in year of that. 1876. Okay, but he only discovered that bacterium, the bacillus anthracis. So this bacteria is causes the anthrax in animals. So this bacteria is causes. So this bacterium is causes in anthrax. Okay, but this bacterium is causes in anthrax in the animals. Okay, but so these kinds of disease, you know. So these kinds of disease. What kind of disease? The anthrax disease is maximum affected in that uh, human, maximum affected in that other animals. For example, the anthrax is a dangerous disease in the humans as well as the animals itself. Like in some bacteria for food and that mouth disease or cattle causes by the virus. You know? 
so some of the diseases caused with through that virus itself virus like that food and that mouth this is cattle or cattle is caused by the virus and the this is causes through that plaque itself so this is causing microorganism in mean plaque so this is uh, not only affected in that human being and animals so the plant is affected in that so the disease it can affected in the plant itself okay wow. so not, not only the human being and animal the suffer the plant itself okay wow. so the several microorganism this is causes in the this is in plant itself like that rice wheat rice wheat sugar cane potato apple orange etc etc okay wow. whenever the disease affected in plants what will happen the yield will be reduced what will happen the automatically the yield will be reduced so what will happen next last part the farmer okay wow. then what do you do first you prevent the plant disease first you prevent the plant disease okay wow. how can prevent you know what are the diseases is affected in plants you know the first one like that citrus cancer it's one kind of the plant disease it's one kind of the plant disease okay wow. so what is that this is like that citrus cancer okay wow. what is that like that citrus cancer the citrus cancer is one kind of disease so this uh, disease can causes of microbes what microbes bacteria what kind of microbes bacteria the mode of transmission then yeah how can the citrus cancer it can transmit from one plant to another plant through the yeah okay and third one rust of wheat rust of wheat okay wow. so name of that microorganism like the fungi fungi so how can transmit this kinds of disease through the air and sea through the air and sea and the next one the yellow vein mosaic of ogra the yellow vein the mosaic of ogra so this is one kind of the virus disease so this kind of disease it can spread through the insect okay wow. so the this kind of disease what kind of disease the yellow vein mosquitoes the mosaic of ogra so this is one kind of disease so what is the causes in microorganism like the virus so how can transmit this kind of disease this kind of disease transmit through the insect okay wow. so how can we control this all over how can we control you can't con definitely that you can't control it what will happen the totally the overall the yield will be reduced okay wow. so how can control we can use that like the common chemical like we can use that like the common chemicals the common chemicals so what is the main role of this chemical so this chemical is automatically kill that microbes or microorganism okay wow. so automatically we will get the good yield from the uh agricultures okay wow. so this is the common disease in plants itself what are the common disease in plant one is the citrus cancer and next one the rust of wheat and third one that yellow vein is a mosaic of ogra okay wow. you see any doubt thank you